This is Twit. Ming Chi Kuo says Apple is going to start. Get ready for this. Manufacturing an AR headset, but don't get ready too soon because it won't be till the end of this year or early next That's soon, year. Soon, Leo. That sounds soon. It does sound soon. It's, it's sooner than I would have thought. What? 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 What do you? What, what, <laughs> is it credible? Does he, does, he, does he mean in quantity or does he mean mass we production? Want, we, mass production. Okay, that that's that feels early to me because yeah. I I don't know. I, I, uh, again, we're, we're, it's almost like the conversation that we were having about uh, an Apple video service is that I'm sure that if they were to make one, I'm sure that they would have good reasons to and they would do something wonderful with it and they'd have a business model for it. I don't under knowing what I know about wearable, com not te not technology or the f finished products that are out there, but the actual components that are available to design from, I find it hard to imagine Apple looking at the device that they could build this time next year and decide that, yeah, we want an Apple logo on that. Or yes, we want someone to point to that person on the subway wearing one of those things and know that they're an Apple user. They'd much rather make fun of people wearing Google Glass. They'd much rather, uh, <laughs> they'd much rather uh, look at other companies that are doing things that are now have two or three years of age to them, like yeah. Hololens, and they're still not not inconspicuous. They're also not delivering on what we imagine AR was going to be. It's still uh, as much as as well as it integrates into your field of view. You're still basically looking at one narrow gauge mail slot in which they could augment your reality and they can't do anything with your peripheral vision so it's it's hard for me to imagine apple shipping something that i would think of as an apple product anytime in the next year or two well traditionally who do they, who do they, they don't recently? test in public right so it's not i mean any other company you would have look how long microsoft's been testing hololens i mean this yeah. most recent I mean, version is four years old the one they just announced uh, last month and I guess it's their a consumer version, although it's thirty five hundred bucks, and it's definitely not ended, aimed at end users. It's aimed at business, so they're, in my opinion, still testing it. Uh, Magic Leap is definitely in developer mode, but they're yeah. doing it in public in in some cases. Apple just doesn't do that, right? They're not going to release a developer. They're using the edition. iPhone to, yeah, they're using the iPhone to do it in public. They're using AR Kit and Animoji and stuff to get right. us used to operating in augmented spaces and with augmented avatars, sort of very slowly boiling us like frogs instead of just throwing us into a boiling pot, <laughs> the way like some of the big headsets do. Uh, but that tech, and even these rumors suggest that this this device is going to heavily rely on the iPhone more than even the original Apple Watch did, because all the compute, all the render, everything is going to be done on the iPhone. And then I imagine there'll be an untethered connection that spits it out onto the lenses in front of you. But the lenses will still have to capture a bunch of information just to in order to be spatially correct and because you're not going to want to walk around with your iphone at chest level to sort of like the data spigot so i mean there's there, there sounds like there's still profound engineering and there's possible that apple's uh, special projects teams have figured out a lot of the stuff maybe they they're licked really it. far ahead in it but maybe they've licked but it I, it seems early to me it does seem. It seems like, like as well, someone who's well, tried we, a lot of this stuff. It yeah, seems we early. haven't yet seen anything from anybody, including Magic Leap and Hololens, that the is anywhere near a right? consumer <laughs> product. Snapchat yeah, or yeah, Snapchat. Uh, again, it's none of that is near a <laughs> consumer product, and I wouldn't expect Apple to do anything less than a consumer product. Then, like yeah. at least an Apple Watch level Apple yeah. glasses. Yeah, it's it's so it's so easy to integrate a camera into a set of eyeglass frames. A display device, again, I just haven't seen anything outside of a lab uh, that is capable of giving you something even – even if you're going to wear like nerd glasses uh, that you – that will not call attention to itself to say nothing of the problem of what if you don't naturally wear glasses. I, I have an advantage. I can switch to, again, the, the nerd frames if I want uh, – thicker nerd frames and that, that, that hide things inside the circuitry. But – what if you don't need – what if you're one of those horribly disadvantaged people with perfect vision uh, that did not get made fun of and don't have to keep wiping lenses every single every single 10 minutes? Uh, I Again, I just don't know how that really works. Would be really interesting. Would they flip up? Just make a part – yeah. do you partner with Ray-Bans the way you partner with Hermes? Yeah, make them sunglasses. Yeah, no, that, yeah Renee, that, that's something I was actually thinking of. Remember how they, they created so many links into the fashion and design communities with they, when they originally did the Apple Watch. I would not be surprised at all if they were already working with designers to say, uh, on here's how to make this thing palatable. Uh, and also, when we've uh, they've got their eyes five years in the future – 
here are special design frames so that just like uh, there's only one style of Apple Watch, he said, pointing at an absolutely bare wrist, I know. Uh, <laughs> but but the thing is, when everyone's when we see it, you see that you're, oh, that person's obviously wearing an Apple Watch. If it became just like uh, people know that you're wearing AirPods, or at least they did until China started knocking off the design for really, really bad Bluetooth <laughs> earphones. But they could do the exact same thing where one of the ways they could make it palatable is that, yes, you're wearing this device on the side of your on the side of your head. But hey, look, it's one of those Apple things. So it could actually be a brand identity thing for them. So Apple sunglasses, they just happen to have AR. I like that. I mean, well, I like the Dwayne Wayne idea that Leo had. Yeah. <laughs> Flip them up. Flip them I up. do think, I mean, this, I mean, I'm so nostalgic for the Apple that like would release something and everybody gasped and it <laughs> changed the world. And the iPhone was one of those things, the iPad to some degree. Uh, iPod for sure, I, I, but in all three cases, they weren't new products in a category. But what and remember, if, like Microsoft ran to get the HP Slate out at CES right yeah. before the iPad, and it had like a little push button it's ejector horrible. for the Windows sticker. Yeah, <laughs> <It's> horrible. <laughs> so imagine that Apple has somehow, you know, amazingly come up with some solution, and we'll all talk back, you know, think back. Oh, remember twenty March twenty twenty when Apple released these, and it changed the world, right? I mean, I think that I would like to see that. Let's 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 all yeah. root for Apple to do that. I think that'd be really cool. If uh, anyone but, could do it, it would be Apple, or possibly well, Samsung. But Samsung is that a fair that thing to say these days? I think that's true. <laughs> Maybe it was true in the past, but we haven't seen. I think Apple is still unique in their ability to take take a bunch of disparate technologies and package it in a way that's really accessible to mainstream customers. That's always seems to have been their secret sauce. Like again, like tons of phones before iPhone, tons of. A tablet before iPad, a few watches before Apple Watch, a bunch of Bluetooth headsets before AirPods, but they seem to be able to carve down, not to everyone's liking, but to like a single opinionated view of what this product okay. can be for okay. a, a wide swath of but audience. That's kind of been a that's kind of a downhill slope you just described. You had the iPhone, <laughs> then the iPad, then the Apple Watch, and the AirPods. Yeah. Uh, nothing I mean, <laughs> it's kind of yeah, but is there not the Apple that of of fifteen years ago or ten years ago, I mean, I. But we're also mature, more like more mature technologically. It's like hard to come like up with UFO, something. UFO, like flying yeah. cars. I mean, it's like yeah. the big one, but. Yeah.